So Black Myth Wukong is actually a very, very good game. I'd rate it about a 9 out of 10. But this chapter is an absolute pain. It's tedious, it's boring, it's monotonous, it's dark, it's dingy, it's just really bad. And we're going to go into it in today's video. So what is the pagoda in chapter 3? It's this horrible, dark place where you go. Once you fought the dragon on top of the lake, you end up down here. And you go in and it feels okay, you know what I mean? I was just thinking it's going to be a little small section before we get back up. But no, it, it, it's, it's, it's far worse than that. So basically there's this mechanic where the boss of the, of the area rings the bell and you lose half your health or something like that. Uh, I don't fully know the law behind it, but that's what happens. The boss, like, rings a bell or something like that and then you lose half your health. It's like a debuff and the enemies get stronger. It's annoying. That is annoying. I think they could have done that a little bit differently. But when you are debuffed, there are these lantern enemies that you need to kill to unlock a little trinket that you can equip. My god, that is the most boring side quest I've ever had to do in a game in a long time. If you don't get them, they disappear until the next time. And I think it takes three minutes for them for the boss to ring the bell again. And then you lose your health again and you can see them. Also, if you do not get them all and you go and fight that boss. You cannot go back and get this item. It's gone because the boss can't ring the bell because you beat the boss at that point. Okay, cool. That makes sense. They're all pretty easy to find, apart from the last one. When you get to the top, there's like this like eagle sort of enemy, would you call it? I don't know. He's up there. You go to the right of him after beating him. And then there's a little drop off around the back. And it's like, you would never know. When you're looking down, you're thinking, that I kind of survived that drop. But you can. So you go down there and you fight the last one. And yeah, cool, whatever. That's that pointless side quest done. Annoying as hell, trust me. That's not the worst part of this. When you talk about like bosses and stuff like that, you would never think that an inanimate object could be a boss. Because listen, I've fought bosses in this game so far. I fought the Yellow Sage, I fought Tony the Tiger or whatever the hell he was called. The hardest thing I've had to do in this game so far is travel over them bridges in this section. Oh my god, they lead you into a false sense of security. You're walking along and it feels like it's got you locked on the, the beam. But then it'll turn at the end a little bit. And then the game sort of just goes, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then you just fall off and you die. No joke, that's literally what happened. It happened to me so many times. I tried jumping across, but then sometimes I just couldn't make it. So I tried like angling it a little bit better, but then it just sort of threw me off. And it was just like, I really don't know what's going on. I was so embarrassed. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but this was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And it's the most easiest thing. I, I, like it should be the most easiest thing to do. But it was, it just felt like a false sense of security. It felt like you were locked on a little bit and like you were safe. But then as soon as you got to that turn, it just went all wrong. Then you can talk about all the enemies as well inside this area. They are annoying. So you've got like a little narrow path on the outside with a sheer drop. Now there's these bat-like creatures that can literally one hit you off the edge. And they can fire electric at you. And the camera always seems to be a little bit glitchy when you're going under them. The whole area just isn't a nice place to be. All the other enemies aren't really fun to fight either. It's just really not a nice place to be at all. Between that, that little side quest, there was one little boss. Well, I'll say little boss, he was quite difficult to be fair. And I think he got nerfed by the time I was playing it. Where after you get to the, I think it's the, not the, the shrine at the bottom, the second shrine. If you turn back on yourself from there and drop down the hole, there's a, there's a secret boss there as well. He was fun to fight once you get rid of all his like little minions and stuff like that. He was fun to fight. He sort of fires like lasers at you and does all types of craziness. And the pillar stance is dead good for this if you're struggling with him. Try and use the pillar stance when he fires the lasers around because you can just go up on that. But yeah, I had fun with that. But the whole thing just felt boring, tedious and annoying. Very, very annoying. There was, wasn't really any fun to be had down there apart from that little boss. The boss battle at the end was great and when you beat him you're like thank god i'm finally getting out of here but that was the whole that was the only feeling that you got thank god i'm leaving this place if this game was a 9 out of 10 after this it's the 7.5 because my god i think i'm i think a lot of people are in agreement with me because when i was streaming people were coming into chat saying oh my god this place good luck trying to find your way out of here and all this so I think a lot of people are experiencing the same thing. But let me know down below what you think. I just wanted to have a little rant about it. But yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.